right, this is gonna be my PvP build after I'm done telling you what's on there, the gear and everything, my reasoning behind it, I will roll the footage of invasions and the like, so keep that in mind. This build is also great for PvE, I want you to keep that in mind as well, I haven't really struggled, well, I struggled with bosses, but I never ran into a boss I felt like I couldn't um, kill or defeat or anything like that, so it's great for PvE as well. I'm fat rolling because I wanted to put all my weapons on, don't worry, you won't be fat rolling in this build, but it was easier to go over them with that, and without further ado, let's get into it. So, stats are 50 vigor, 11 mind, 25 endurance, 20 strength, 40 dexterity. 50 intelligence, 18 faith, and 10 arcane. I had two points left over, so I just put them in the arcane. You can put them wherever you want. Um, the stats partially look like this due to the equipment I'm wearing, so these aren't the base stats, but we got about 1900 health, 71 FP, 127 stamina, and the rest is kind of irrelevant. You can see the damage in each of my weapons over in the top right hand corner, and yeah, let's get into it. So why these stats 50 vigor I think you need at least 50, 40 to 50 you're safe if you're like under 40 there's some things that will flat out one shot you especially the strength builds and some of the magic attacks that repeatedly hit will one shot you mind I left that base by the way I am a samurai starting class if you wanted to know so I left mine at base endurance I didn't really pump up I actually put it to 20 the extra 5 points are from one of our talismans. As for Vigor, I put that to 45. Again, the extra 5 points are from a talisman. Strength is at 15. Once again, the extra 5 points is from talisman. I put it at 15 because I wanted to wield um, two of our weapons, and two of them require at least 15 strength. Intelligence is at 50. I find this mandatory to get the most damage out of most of our weapons for this build. Faith is at 18. It allows us to use a weapon in Arcane. I had two points left over, so I put it up to 10. and. It's not really wasted, it'll help us apply status effects from this build. So let's get into the gear. So our first thing is the Moonville Katana. This is our bread and butter. This is gonna allow us to have close and sort of medium range attacks at our disposal. It's great, it has good damage and fast hits. Um, you can more of a hit and run tactics with this. You don't want to trade with it. I'm not gonna get into how you fight, but this is part of the gear. Vikes War Spear. This is great for proccing status effects. It's also great to have a little range and it poise breaks pretty easy. So I swapped to this when I see a group of heavy armor people and you know, I'm not going to be able to break their poise with the katana and they're closing the distance. I'll poke them or if they're surrounding me, I'll go into the jump attack, things like that to have some AoE splash damage and it'll flat out one shot some um, light armor user. So keep that in mind, but it's just to have a little versatility with the build a little more range the katana has no range and if you have to get in real close to trade it's not going to be favorable where this you can trade stun them combo and other things go back to your katana and such so it's a great secondary weapon hell it's a great main weapon but it's my secondary weapon as you'll see in the clips and our third weapon is the meteoric blade um this is really good but it's not really good open world. It has about the same damage. If you look, um, it basically has one point more damage than the Moonville. If you look at the top right hand corner, like all of these weapons are relative, but this is actually stronger. But it's it has the same katana move set, but its R2 isn't as good as if you're trading with the Moonville because you can mix this up to have a horizontal or vertical beam where this is just a slam now the gravity on this is good if you see people running up you would preemptively use the R2 and where I find this really shines is that inner areas like caves or you know um, building structures or the tighter levels versus the openness of like you know the grasslands and the snow fields or the fire things like that so I always keep it Around plus is good if you want to just dual wheel katanas one in each hand. That's where it really shines. So keep that in mind. But I use it on the build regardless of the fact sometimes. And our dragon communion seal. We use this um, <laughs> for lack of a better talisman. We might have a better talisman actually. But most of our... Um, magic is buff related anyway or status related anyway so we're not really out to do damage I stopped using the um, 
gravity magic on this build because it's a little clunky to try to pull off when three people are on you and there's better things you can use your FP for like you'll be out of FP and you'll be chugging in no time if you're spamming those moves however in a PV environment or like you know a fight club setting or something like that the gravity magic will be good it's so my armor real quick Malakef's um, nothing really special you see me go be between this and the Albrecht's set but I want to swap it up and get a little bit more poise <laughs> when you're getting three people on you a little bit more poise helps so you can get that in other ways but I like that all right let's get to the talismans crimson hammer medallion 2 you need that HP what more can I say get your HP up high this is your best bang for your buck Radagon still source him my bad um, it's gonna give you plus five to a lot of stats and uh, there we just see it's gonna give you plus five to vigor endurance strength and dexterity at the cost of about 10% extra damage which is nothing in PvP I mean it's not even you're not even gonna fill in PvP PvE yeah I'd still wear it but be a little more cautious <laughs> entries favor once again raises HP stamina and equip load is gonna allow us to wear a bit heavier armor it's gonna give us more health and it's going to raise our stamina so we don't have to put as much into our endurance stat. We get a lot of these stats from our gear, so we save on stats. And this is the flex spot. I'm really liking Pearl Drake Talisman. Um, it's plus two as well. It's because there's so many range builds hitting you and range like, like the Moonville and things like that. And when you're outnumbered, that that's when you're trying to you know back off and get your you know pot off or anything like that it hurts I'm also liking this because of all the status effects but I want to get the plus two like I said this is the flex spot and I'm also liking this depending on where I'm invading I will use one of these three and that's it so Dragon Crest Shield Talisman 2 Pearl Drake Talisman 2 or the Molten Necklace hopefully get plus two and that's it for the talismans um, here we're just using you know four ten um, if I get more I actually don't know what the flask go up into this game but this guarantees five um, healings and two magic regenerations this is also a magic regen um, I have the one that gives you the shield and restores FP um, it's really good for um, tanking a hit to say you go into the uh, the Vorskas and you're jumping in the air you're wide open to attack so they can backstab you actually through that. They can hit you with the Moonville or the uh, Blood Katana special move or any ranged attack like from the two ways to shoot out the purple fucking rock things and shit like that. Excuse my French. But um, yeah, it's guaranteed to protect you during that moment and you can get a nice hit off of them and you'll more than likely win that trade. So keep that in mind. And yeah, I'm going to go to our spell so what we're using right now this is good in a clutch moment I actually use this you'll see I put it on as soon as I enter and then I use the flask this is why I have FP on it it immediately gives me back and it gives me a shield so the reason I'm using this is when you're surrounded and basically the more hits you take it's gonna explode kinda like Wrath of the Gods from the old Dark Souls and it's gonna knock everyone down and you can really combo into this <laughs> and it can really save your ass off also if you just need to run away and heal so keep that in mind this I'm using it has decent damage actually but I'm using it to help build up some of the madness and it's really good at interrupting attacks even from like from any weapon great weapons small weapons straight swords axes whatever like during that wind up you're not going to be able to trade with them or anything but during that wind up if you're already firing this they're going to see you firing it and they're going to run in and try to hit you like they would always do but it's going to stun them it's going to build madness and if you have your spear on you'll probably proc a stun I'm not going to lie to you so keep that in mind but there's not really anything I'm going to end up changing about this build too much I will mess around with the uh this is the full build and full, but I will mess around with um, what do I call it? Miracles, sorceries, whatever you want, pyromancies and things like that to supplement the build. But this is the base basic gear. It's not gonna change unless something's completely nerfed into the ground or new things are released. And I want to try it. 
And without further ado, let's get into the gameplay footage.
answer you. You don't want to. I said I'll answer you all right. Fucking time. All that buzz everywhere. I was on my dick. 